Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. I cannot believe this either. Finally, right? Calculus 3 and also with the quadratic formula. We are going to evaluate the limit as a, b, c go to 0, 0, 0, and here we have the quadratic formula. Notice I'm just going to deal with the plus version here. And one more thing I want to tell you. The inside right here, if this part is bigger than that, then we'll get a negative inside of the square root, which is not good. We don't want to go to a complex world. But it's okay. I don't want to ruin the fun. I'm just going to attach an absolute value around it, then we'll be good. Okay, so what do we do? First, put 0, 0, 0 into ABC, work that out, you get 0 over 0. So do more work, of course. But it's usually harder to evaluate and determine the value of the limit. It might be easier to try to show that the limit does not exist. And to show a limit doesn't exist, we have to find two paths, and the limit along those two paths are different, and that case will be done. By the way, I've been doing a lot of calculus tree video on my other channel, Black and Red Pen Calculus Basics. So if you want to see some calculus tree stuff, go check it out. Link will be in the description. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So here we go. Let's go ahead and find our first path. And we have three variables. So it might be easier to find a parametric curve, right? I'm just going to do an easy one first. Let's say A is equal to B is equal to C is equal to T. And I'm just going to take the limit because A, B, C, D are all going to zero. So that means T will go to zero. And all I have to do is put T into all the variables. So you get negative T plus square root with the absolute value t squared minus 4 times t for a, t for c, and then close the absolute value all over 2 times t. Look, this is t squared minus 4t squared, that's negative 3t squared. Hmm, told you we need the absolute value so that we don't ruin the fun. So this right here will just pass the three t square and take the square root for that. So this right here will give us the limit as t goes to zero, we have negative t plus square root of three. Okay, fine, I'll just deal with that. So I will just say we have square root of three times t. Uh, maybe we need absolute value, but let's just say t goes to zero plus. So don't need absolute value for that. And then over 2t. And then you see, we can cancel all the t's. So this right here is just limit as t goes to 0. Here we get negative 1 plus here is square root of 3 over 2. Right? Just cancel all the t's so we have that. And there's no more t. So the limit for this path is just negative 1 plus square root of 3 over 2. Quite nice. I would say. Yeah, I, I don't know why, I just want to show you guys the work. Factor out the t, that's negative 1 plus square root of 3, and then cancel the t and t. Alright, cool. Now we have to come up with another path that will give us different limit, and shouldn't be too bad. I forgot the one that I used when I was doing this on my own. I don't want a to be zero, otherwise I ruin the quadratic formula right away. So I still want a to be t. And uh, maybe we'll just put the rest to be zero, why, why not? I say a is equal to t, and then b is equal to c is equal to zero along the b axis and also the c axis. So this right here will give us the limit t will go to zero, yeah? So I'll just put this down right here. And uh, we have negative b is zero, and then plus square root of absolute value, zero squared minus four times t for a, but zero for c, and then over to t. Okay, close the absolute value. But notice, this is just zero, that's zero, that's zero, right? Thanks to that zero. So 
all this is zero, so the top is equal to zero. This right here is just the limit as t goes to zero, the top is just zero over two t. And make sure you do this inside out. You work out two, you work out zero over two t first, which is zero. So you take the limit as t goes to zero of zero, and you see this right here will give you zero. Yeah, so we have two different paths, but the limits are different. So of course, I'll just tell you they are not equal. Therefore, we can come back to here and say this limit does not exist.